Whiterun. Arguably the most iconic city in Skyrim, countless adventurers started their Dragonborn legends right here, and then continued to use it as their home base forever in every playthrough they ever did after. And with good reason. Whiterun has all the crafting stations you could need, tons of iconic characters, multiple Daedric artifact quests, and so many annoying ass kids. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, stupid- Every time Nelkir calls me a bootlicker, it makes me want to boot him in his liquor. Unfortunately, since violence towards children is unacceptable, there's only one way to effectively get back at these brats. Their parents. Which brings us to our hero, Joe Joman, local Whiterun dad, Papa. and soon, relatively, to be High King of Skyrim. When Joe found out that his daughter Lucia was being bullied, he did what any rational father would do, and broke into Braith's house in the middle of the night to shoot both of her parents. Surprisingly, this was apparently illegal, and got Joe thrown into a prison cell. Is Joe drunk right now? What is happening? After sobering up in the drink tank, Joe was released later that day on good behavior. Oh, we're- I guess Joe wasn't eating well in prison. Our needs are- our needs are looking bad. Oh, you are dying, exclamation <laughs> mark. Alright, prison wasn't great for Joe. They really need to reform their prisons. This is how they release people. Let's stop by the inn and get some food. Papa, oh, hello Lucia. Yeah, I'm back from prison. I, I defended you. I, I go back to bed. I don't. I'm dying. Aww. I, I'm sorry, Lucy. I know you're excited to see me out of prison. I'm afraid I'm gonna die if I don't get this food quick. Drink food you have time. succumbed to your failing health. Oh shit! Did I actually just die because I took too long speaking with Lucia? Oh god, we gotta. <laughs> hold on a second. No, no, no. Ooh. Okay, I guess step one is survive being released from prison. Oh god, this is a terrible say. Uh, food! Food, please! Please! Food! Food now! <laughs> Dear lord! Give me some food! We have no time to spare! Uh, drink ales! I- I need sleep! Oh god, there's a dragon. It's been too long since I slept in my own bed. Again, yes, thank you, mule. Prison treated me very poorly. My aching bones need some relief. Ah. Uh. That's better. That's more like it. How are we looking? Okay, we're still technically dying, but like, that'll probably clean up. Maybe we just need a bath. As Joe bathed alone, he felt the presence of a gaping hole in his life. His bubble bath buddy, Feindall, who had left him at the scene of his double homicide. Joe knew that the role of a father was an important one, so to make up the lost father time Lucia missed out on while he was in the clink, he needed to get Feindall back, since two fathers would count for twice as much. So, after completing our Whiterun community service by defending the city from a dragon, we prepared to win back the heart of Feindall. Hey Lars. I bet you could slay one of those mean old dragons. I bet you could do anything. I actually just did slay one of those, believe it or not. Bye. I, I, I noticed that you're not uh, getting chased around by Braith right now. He didn't really mention the Braith bullying. Oh, wonder what's up with that. Remember kids, don't horse and... Don't... Wait, no. Don't drink and horse. Also, don't horse and drive, though. We gotta go have a talk with Feindel. Maybe our, um... The condition that we're in i.e. dying, will uh, gain some sympathy points with him. Feindall can't stay mad at us for that long, right? What's a little double homicide among friends? Real quick, I gotta remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to follow my Twitch where we film these live. Also, check out the Discord or the VOD channel if those interest you. Thanks. Now back to Daddy Daycare. Feindall! Did you hear something? Oh, Feindall, calm down. I... <laughs> Uh, I came to apologize, Fade Doll. Don't walk away from me. At least hear me out. <laughs> Come on, don't be like this. I'm oh, sure I heard body. something. You? Oh, he's playing. Dull. He's acting like he can't hear me. Fade Doll, I know you can't resist this. Our friendship knows no bounds, Fade Doll. Venture with me once again. <laughs> Please come back. Dude, I don't need bystanders, Fade Doll. Okay, he's acting like he can't hear us. Somebody do something! Feindall, I'll give you one last chance. You want to come with us or not? Lead the way. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Apology accepted. That was easier than I thought. With our backup dad secured, it was time to upgrade our fatherly gear. Our discipline gun successfully stopped Braith from bullying white run kids. But there was an improved version you could get that was made by the dwarves. So, we set out to the former dwarven daycare Raldbathar to secure the blueprints. Yorlum! Yeah, believe it or not, I would like another carriage ride. Ignore the dragon in the distance. Also ignore my dying undead horse. Wait. Oh, we're exhausted. Okay, do you think he'd be mad if we just laid down and just took a nap before <laughs> before we got in the cart? We're I'm really worried about Joe's health ever since he got out of prison. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make sure he gets his, his rest. Alright, thank you for waiting, Bjorlum. Um <laughs> I'm ready for that ride now. Oh, let's hurry. It looks like we're gonna freeze to death in here. Or out here, I mean. Joe is breathing in asbestos while in prison. I don't doubt that, actually. Just ignore them and they'll go away. They'll lose interest. You're doing a good job playing dead. Oh. I'll take care of that issue. I'm pretty sure that's the place. Why is there a fox chasing me? Hey, little buddy. You got somewhere to be? What are you doing? Wow, nature's beautiful. All right, let's get this dungeon going. Hello, sir. Did somebody order a Joe Joman special? <laughs> Maybe we approach from the stairs like a civilized man. You a bad time. What? Where the hell did he come from? Uh, let's get our our flame atcher knockout. Pathetic bandits. Ooh, that was a close one there, pal. God, I'm scared to peek over. Oh. Gotta be quicker than that. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm I'm choking. I was scared of him. Hello. Oh. Owned. Ooh, an apple. I'm a little hungry. Shoot her while she's down! It's not a war crime if they don't tell anybody about it. Damn, put a shirt on, punk. Oh, hello. Sir, were you kidnapped? I don't know how you made it this far, but you'll go no farther. What? Here we go. Oh my god! Put him down! <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, sick kill move, Joe. It was a really cool cinematic camera. I'm summoning the flame atronach. I don't have the patience to deal with bandits like this anymore. Oh, look at this little, little loser. Oh shit. What if I just leave him alone? He's not hurting nobody. We're cool, right? It looks like we're cool. I'm gonna find whoever did this. <laughs> yeah, you do that, bro. Keep looking. You'll figure out who did it eventually, man. After spanking all of the children in the daycare, we retrieved the first blueprint for our new discipline gun and prepared for our return to Fort Dawnguard. Oh Lane, you uh you enjoy your dinner. Ooh. We could make this. Wait, actually, you guys want to see something really cool about having an undead horse? <laughs> we just get up, we dust ourselves off, and then we bring them back. <laughs> now that's an all-terrain vehicle right there. Oh look, there's the road. Right this way, Frost. Ooh, ooh. Oh, your knees did not look good on that one. Okay, yeah, we hit the ground too early. <laughs> Joe's knees ate the majority of that impact. It's okay. That just means we get to drop Frost off a cliff again. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Maybe this strat isn't as safe as I thought. He just busted out all of his teeth on that rock. One careful trip down the stairs later, and we received the location of the final blueprints, Fort Fellhammer. 
Go on, get out of here. <laughs> on our way there, while passing through Riften, we got a little sidetracked. <laughs> Somebody said you should explore the nightlife of Riften. Guys, do you think Riften has a nightlife? Look at this just dung hole, bro. This absolute shithole of a city. You think they have a nightlife here? I actually can't think of a single thing to do for fun in Riften. But we can go, like what, laugh at the, the kids in Honor Hall? Yo, what up? What up, orphans? <laughs> Wait, on, let me, I need some ale for this. It's 3.30 a.m. Everybody wake up. It's time for Joe Joman's loot solo. Oh shit, wait. Is Braith here? Oh, look who it is. Sleeping in the corner by candlelight. Hey Braith, I heard all your parents died. That's crazy. You enjoying life in Riften? Mama. Oh. All right then. All right then. I hate it here. I I want to go home. Mhm. Mm At that moment, Joe realized that Braith had probably learned her lesson by now. And since it was her parents that raised her into a bully to begin with, it would also take a parent to set her straight for good. I'm, you know, for the first time in my life, I'm feeling a bit of remorse. <laughs> Constance Michelle. What's your, like, adoption policies looking like? First, I'll need to ask you a few questions. Your name? Joe Joman. That's all I need from you. Congratulations. I think you'll make an excellent parent. Oh, I think I would too. Hey, kid, wake up. Are you... Are you going to adopt one of us? I could adopt you if you want. Really? Are you... Are you sure? <laughs> Actually, I, this isn't really the best time. Oh, well... Thanks anyway, I suppose. Ah, I'm just kidding. Come on, Braith. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I'm your father now. Best daughter ever. Since Joe now had twice as many daughters, that made him double the dad he used to be. And to prove it, we took time out of our busy schedule to visit them. What are these? Oh, right. Dragon bones. Uh, <laughs> dragon bones on your face or something. Hey, kids, I'm home. You're back! Yes, I am. Did you get me a present? I did, Lucia. It's a new sister. Uh, Do you need any? Is she here? I see Lydia is um, tucking her in for the night. Braith, wake up. Do you like it? Papa! <laughs> I got something for you, Braith. Wow, thanks, Papa. Ah, just kidding. Oh, stop teasing me! <laughs> Welcome to your new, equally shitty life. That's what it means to be a good father, guys. Oh, wait a second. Can I have my allowance meal? Holy shit, 900 gold. We got a double allowance today. That means we've been a good father. What the f***? You know what? First act as king, I am outlawing vampires. After defending his family from the vampire menace, it was time for Daddy Joe and Papa Feindall to give the naughty kids at Fellhammer some tough love. Where, wait, where is the front door? I gotta enter in style. This doesn't really look like the front door. This looks more like a butt crack, but it'll do. Play Matronach. Go! <laughs> Perfect. Perfectly executed. Alright, well, I'm glad I really helped with that on that fight. After acquiring the final blueprint and some sweet new kicks for Feindall, we dropped by the house again to see how our new claimable dependent was adjusting. Oh, Braith! You're back! I am. You give me an allowance? Hmm. Sorry, I can't afford it right now. I understand. <laughs> Sorry. I only have 9,700 gold. <laughs> Here, you can have a knife, though. Oh, look at that genuine smile. She probably already knows who she's gonna use it on. So adorable. After giving the former bully a knife and leaving her unsupervised with Lucia, we returned once again to Fort Dawnguard to retrieve our prize. The Holy Grail of Disciplinary Weaponry, the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow. Then, Joe prayed to his god, only to realize that he had once again been completely abandoned. 
So, we set out to worship a new deity who could give us some parental guidance. The Orb Mommy herself, Meridia. Look at my temple lying in ruins. Oh my- So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their pots. So true. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Alright, I'm already sold. I, I want your love to reach me. What do I need to do? Speak the words. Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Say less. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hello, Lord. Oh, wait, you're down here. My once great temple, now tainted by a profane darkness. I hate profane darkness. Point, point me in the right direction. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. Your champion? You enter my temple. Retrieve my artifact. You want me to re <laughs> re retrieve your artifact? <laughs> I'll do it. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Ooh. All right, that <laughs> that's enough uppies, mommy. You can put me back down now. I will send down a ray of light. Oh, she called me a ray of light. She's gonna send me back down. Uh, uh, we're accelerating. Under the guidance of our new mother, we began to clean up her house for her as she asked. You can finally have a god that we don't disappoint. That would be like a first for us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello? I hear my dog being stabbed. Oh. Did Feindall just shoot me in the side of the head? Nah, that, that, he wouldn't do that. That wasn't Feindall. If he was gonna shoot me in the back of the head, he'd do it from the front. Feindall, we have to get mommy's approval. You know why we're in a hurry. I'm like bullying this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, like I'm really gonna fall for that one. Good trap. They think I'm stupid or something. They're clearly a person who spent their entire life studying traps. To come up with something that convoluted, that impressive that it could actually trick Joe Joman, they're clearly an expert. Oh my god! That- oh, Jesus Christ! Move! Let me- <laughs> Ah! What the fuck? And so, Joe bravely fought all the way through the temple, slaying every ghost, ghoul, and gallivanting gobbledygook that crossed his path. That wasn't so bad. The defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. If you say so. Ow! 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 Oh! Oh my god, she almost killed me! I'm at death's door. She it was a trap. We're getting uppies. <laughs> that one hurt. I, I can't see you as well this time, Meridia. Oh, what am I looking at? Oh, my God. <laughs> Mommy. She was more gentle the second time around. Thank you, Mom. And we left the temple in her good graces. 58.8% favor. That's not bad. We didn't really learn anything about parenting, but at least we got this shiny, distracting sword that made us forget about why we were there. Yeah, Thalmor deregulation is a real pro Holy shit, it's the Bone Brigade! Eat shit, skeletons! Oh! Fuck! After meeting our daughter's new grandmother, it was time we checked on them to see how they were getting along. Hello, family! Wraith! Papa, you're back! How are you Can liking you home here? Oh, an allowance? Here. Five gold. All right, thanks. You should be more grateful. Where's my Where's my favorite daughter? Oh, there you are. Braith is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. What? You're telling me Braith is still bullying you? Braith. Do you need something, Papa? Let's play a game. Huh? But, but it's dark out. Is it really okay? Yes. Thanks, Paul. What do you want to play? We're playing hide and seek. You hide first. Okay, you stand right there and count to ten. No peeking. Okay, I won't peek. 
Go hide somewhere. Ten, nine, eight, seven, four, two, one. All right, here I come. I'm gonna find you. 